APD. This is becoming more common, but depends on factors such as cost and patient suitability. This is um, when a patient doesn't have to dialyze during the day, but during the night they are attached to a machine which has a, a circuit of um, fluid bags, dialysis bags, and this is conducted overnight and automatically carries out the dialysis. There are fewer infection risks with APD as the patient is handling the line much less. The machine operates an automatic cycle to exchange six to eight liters of fluid over nine to ten hours through a catheter. At the end of dialysis, some of the solution may be left in the peritoneal cavity until the following night when the patient again connects to the machine. The first morning I woke up after going over the machine overnight and I was free for the first time for a year. I was free. I could just get up and go and I just went off for the day. This was just amazing. And that, for me, I think is its main advantage, that I'm, you are totally, it, well, two advantages, you're independent and you're free during the day. Is one form of dialysis better than any of the others? Well, some patients choose to have CAPD because it provides them with greater flexibility. This is the dialysis that they can carry out at home. Because they do it continuously, they have a greater freedom with their diet and also with their fluids. Some patients choose to have hemodialysis because they find themselves unable to accept having a tube inside their tummy um, and they prefer to go to a hospital where their care and their dialysis will be organised by the renal team. Transplants and dialysis are the main treatment for end-stage renal disease. But there's a number of other therapies which help control the disease and minimise the associated conditions. Medication is very important and diet in particular fluid intake, are key methods of controlling symptoms. Each patient will have a specially tailored diet to suit them.